Hi guys, so uh, we just came back from work and uh, the company that we bought the kitchen from, they are the same people that uh, we gave them the whole contract for building and uh, installing the kitchen. So they came yesterday, I showed you people the video of how far they went. Every other thing is complete. So they fixed everything. Everything is complete. Everything has been fixed. This is the fridge. Everything has been fixed. The only thing they did not fix is the back oven, the oven that is supposed to be here. And because there is no steel oven, we are not able to cook because this is the wire of the cooker the, the, that will still have to be powered by the um, oven. So they gave us the mean that they are going to come today at 3.30. I left work. In fact, we left work very early. We were rushing home. They did not come. They did not call us and say they are not coming. They didn't give us any information that they are not going to come today. And since 3.30, I have called all the numbers that that is written on the um, contract, the kitchen contract, and I've even called those that are supposed to come and install the, the guys that came yesterday. Everybody was just saying they don't have any information. They are not able to help. Like seriously, eh? I have never experienced something like this in Germany. I don't know how you get a contract. You are supposed to come, and they didn't come. And they did not give any information that, that they are not going to come. So for three good hours, I was tired of shouting on the phone and calling everyone. And nobody has any information about where this um, oven is. And because there is no oven, we are not able to cook. That is it. We are not able to cook. We are not. We are like this kitchen. We removed the old kitchen two months ago because we needed to renovate the whole of the wall in this room, this kitchen room, and we are tired of eating outside. We are tired of eating eating food without pepper. These people did not call us. So what I did was to call my German father, and I told him what has happened. Because that man is not nice. He's not nice with his words. So he called them. He got them on the phone. And um, they said that <laughs> they are going to come tomorrow. I said, we are working. They said, no, the people who came yesterday to fix the kitchen said that we do not work. I said, who told them? Is it because both of us, we are home at the same day, Monday morning. You don't think that we are jobless. So I told them that we, the time we come back home in the evening and I don't have any free and I'm not going to take in any ulop again. I'm not going to be taking any free day again because of this kitchen. Unless they will have to pay for it. So they promised they are going to get back to us tomorrow. So guys, we are going to go out now and look for something to eat. We will have to go and look for something to eat because there's no... Yesterday... Before these people left, they were here because they forgot this one. They forgot this one. They forgot the Vasa ham. They forgot this one. This particular one. They forgot it. The water handle. They forgot it. They left for about one hour before they got it back and fixed it. They got back here before they discovered that the, the cooker was not inside the car, inside the air car V, inside the trailer. Like, I don't know how somebody can take a whole trailer, an empty trailer to a customer to fix things. And the most important thing, okay, if you have a kitchen and you're not able to cook inside it, what exactly are they expecting me to do or expecting us to do? Like, I am really, really angry and pissed off. And because everything inside this kitchen has to be fixed, like, I have thousands of things that i have to bring up here and put there's still so much work to be done here and we are approaching weekend i don't know how long it's going to take i don't know i don't just know if you have fixed a kitchen in, and they have disappointed you i am looking for a way that i'm going to collect traffic from these people honestly because if we are the one my husband is saying that i'm shouting if we are the one that is supposed to pay and our our money it's not there when you're supposed to be there. These people will give us trap. They'll give us manual. 
They will give us, they will do everything to make sure that we pay, for, we, they'll punish us for it. So now that they are keeping us hungry, if you have any idea, have you bought a new kitchen in, in Germany before? Do you know how it's being done? What can I do? Because I really need, to, they really need to pay for this punishment they are giving us because we have, we have not eaten. We have to go out now to look for a place to eat. And for two people in Germany, for you to find something that you have to eat and really enjoy it, like something that, that will be satisfying us, both of us have to pay like 50 euro. And that 50 euro is enough to cook for two to, to two to three days in this house. So, we are going out to eat. We don't have kitchen. Let's just assume that we don't have kitchen. We don't have kitchen. What we have here is not kitchen, baby. Baby, no, baby, <coughs> baby, mm -hmm. do you have kitchen? Do we have kitchen? Say the truth. We are kitchenless. <laughs> we are kitchenless. So guys, that is the update. And um, yes, I was really happy yesterday and I'm still happy that, yeah, the kitchen is looking well, but we do not have kitchen because there's no kitchen if we are not able to cook. So that is the update. We are now going to look for something to eat. Let's go eat. Yesterday we slept hungry. But then these people carried their, their empty car out of those place. It was already late. We slept. My husband had to go and drink water and water and water to fill his tummy. We slept hungry. We went to work this morning hungry. We came back like, we came back expecting to that okay, the the oven will be here, they would have fixed everything, and then we are going to just cook, cook something, even if it is just jello fries or something that has pepper, that has pepper for crying out loud, so that we will eat. For where? Baby, let us go and eat the pepperless food. We are going. So, guys, this is me. We have gotten to the place we are going to eat this Turkish, I think it's a Turkish restaurant and um yeah we are sitting down here this is me looking like somebody i've not eaten since they gave back to her because vexed i was angry or i am angry here very very tired from work if i knew they were not coming we would have eaten before going home like driving home waiting for three hours with hunger and then having to drive out again to look for what to eat so this is my husband here looking at all the people inside the restaurant eating because he's hungry. <laughs> he was just looking at everybody's mouth going up and down. <laughs> he is hungry. Look at look at him. Look at him. So guys, before I say record, we were already eating the food half because our, we are hungry. I forgot that I was even recording. So I had um kebab or donatella and my husband had pizza man we were hungry Hun like hungry so this is me trying to like chew the food it's not as if the food was sweet it was not delicious it was not anything the food was not giving anything it was giving dry pepperless salad vibe i am tired of chewing this i am tired of eating this and uh, but we don't have any choice, so then they chop the food like that. They go, they cost the people where supposed to carry kitchen give us just take mine like this. They chew them, and then they chew inside my mouth. So <laughs> we are very angry, honestly. As they are looking at me like this, uh, vex. So, guys, that is it.